we just got out of a AMA with Jonathan, the guy who was doing all of the music and sound effects for the bazaar, and there was actually a fair amount revealed, more than I thought, so let's take a look at what. First thing we learned was about board cosmetics. Board cosmetics and board music is going to work largely as expected. Uh, this is basically what I figured was going to be happening, but there was room for me to be wrong, as there is in a lot of things, but Jonathan basically confirmed what I was thinking, which is your soundtracks are going to be bundled in and attached to your boards. Now, he did suggest that there was room for that to change, and if we wanted it to, we could make it so. But for the time being, we'll get into that in a minute, but for the time being, if you buy, let's say, the Vanessa board, the Vanessa music you can hear in the background, if you buy the Vanessa board, the Vanessa music will come with that, and while you're using the Vanessa board, you'll hear the Vanessa music. At least that's what it sounded like. So it doesn't necessarily mean while you're playing Vanessa, you hear Vanessa music. You could be playing Dooley and have Vanessa's board and hear Vanessa's soundtrack. So long as the boards aren't tied to characters as well, we'll find out. But it didn't look like they were. I cannot wait for Christmas board. I also cannot wait for Christmas board. And he did kind of insinuate multiple times throughout the stream that there would also be seasonal music, which means there might be seasonal boards as well. Or at least he didn't say no. He was specifically asked as part of a couple of questions whether or not different classes or different seasons or other events would have different music to go along with it. And the answer was just yes. So we can kind of extrapolate from that that we're probably going to be getting seasonal boards and seasonal music. It's not ridiculous to think that in the first place. They're going to be making money off of it, so why the hell wouldn't they? But it's nice to kind of hear that for certain. It might sound like I'm not certain, that's because I'm not, but you get the gist. Basically there. My first question, and actually the most important question to this channel that we asked him, was is there any finished music that a content creator might be able to use for the background of their music, background of their, their videos rather, and the answer was just no. I don't have any more music to show you guys. Uh, what he cares about is getting it right for you guys, so I will say no, nah, but it applied to basically all of the questions but Jonathan asked if there was anything about the soundtrack that you didn't like, or if you did like. But, you know, he he was getting a lot of praise, but he also wanted to specify that he also wants to hear if there is any criticism, if you do want more synth, more orchestral, if you want to be able to, I don't know, separate the boards and soundtrack so you can have the Vanessa board but listen to Dooley's music or something like that. If there are any of these requests you want, go over into the main Bizarre Discord, uh, and let him know in his own channel. There's a channel in there called Music and something. It's got the word music in it. You'll see Jonathan in there a bunch. Paste the stuff in there uh, and he'll get to it. Because um, he wants to make it as good as he can for all of us. The toys in the bazaar are going to have their own sounds. And there is specifically going to be a music toy. And this is one thing that I think is going to be really interesting and really cool. But there is a... We've seen it before. The Gecko toy. Um, this is actually a gecko synths and drums toy and yes you will be able to make all of your own sort of sounds and play out your own music using this toy so i can't wait to have people like recreate the bizarre soundtrack in it but also like recreate popular music of the of the times uh, using this thing so go nuts anyone who's got an ear for music uh, that toy is going to be a lot of fun the two biggest things for me we'll get to one of them and the other one was music for the video videos and stuff but actually the i want to say the second biggest piece, piece of news maybe the first biggest piece of news we've got is the innumerable questions that were asked about voice acting now they weren't all just is there going to be voice acting can we hear some voice acting some of it was more like are we going to have accents in voice acting and i i think they may not have actually asked but at least we raised the question at some point or whether or not there would be like an alien language or like sims speak uh, if you've played the game The Sims, they talk in babbles and stuff. Um, but yeah, lots of questions about voice acting were raised. And all of them were kind of avoided by Jonathan just saying, they don't know. They're trying to find out, I think is how he phrased it. The question was raised whether or not items would have sound effects. Uh, or heroes and like unique sound effects for lots of different things. He didn't specifically answer with any... Guidance, we don't know if hovering is going to have a sound effect. We don't know if clicking... I mean, we know tapping the screen is going to have a sound effect, but you get the drift. Uh, but what Jonathan did say is that there will be hundreds, 
upon hundreds of sound effects uh, in the game on launch, which considering there are going to be about just under 500 cards, there's definitely going to be more sound effects than there are cards. So we should be covered for things like hovering, tapping the screen, clicking and dragging, etc. What was the surprise? Yeah, they played us music and Jonathan gave us a tour, which I know he was excited about doing from previous posts he's made and stuff. Um, he may have thought that that was his surprise, but he told us before. This this equally comes from A, the guy that can't read Milo's language, uh, and B, the person who said, let me play you Skies of Wonder. This is a song no one's heard before, and it's on his website, which we found months ago. So I, I don't think he's quite realized how much some of us pay attention to this game and how dedicated some people are to already finding out everything that we possibly can about this game. So yeah, uh, I, I, don't, I think the surprise was probably just some new music, which honestly, the new music was really good to hear. We actually got to hear some Jaws music for the first time ever. Um, here's a little teaser for the music, but you'll obviously have to wait until the game's released to uh, hear the full thing. We were shown a number of different music clips. Unfortunately, I'm not going to share them all with you now. Uh, Jonathan did go into quite some detail as to which instruments he used to compose certain things. Um, we heard a great deal about the West of Omen, which is a song from Vanessa. Um, it has a lot of Eastern influences in Vanessa's sort of bass build-up, but then quite a Western twang to it, uh, with the sort of spaghetti Western guitars thrown in there. Um, so a really interesting mix of Far East and Far West. Uh, Dooley leans away from orchestral and strings and instead leans heavily into synthesizers. Obviously, he's a robot. That kind of makes sense. You don't need to subvert expectations here. He's a robot. Make him sound robotic with synths. But Jonathan did say that he sprinkles in brass and wind and strings to just lift and, and almost make the, the soundtrack bounce to give Dooley that sort of mischievous nature. So, my notes on Jules were a little bit thin uh, from the recording that he played. Um, I got about as far as Jules has a softer palette. She has a an almost fairy tale story uh, going on on her side, which, knowing what we know about her backstory, that her father made a deal with the devil to help them escape a land of basically like forced labor or whatever i can't quite remember off the top of my head but it was a, it was a very very dark dingy place that's the background that we know of jules she then went on to become a chef in the bazaar sure great wonderful but that that sounds bad and she's supposed to have this sort of fairy tale story like the music sounded great the music fit a softer fairy tale like experience but from what i knew of jules I didn't necessarily know how she got there. Like, all I knew was with this sort of dark story past with her father. Uh, apparently now, she is in a happier place. Because apparently now, she is so settled, she is now a mother. That's right. Jules is a mother in the bazaar. She has a child. Or at least one, anyway. Um, so we're going to have little baby Eshelaks running around. Eshelak is the name of her race, by the way. Forearms, purple, or other colours at least. Um... Yeah, Jules is a mum. That's news, I guess. Uh, congratulations? Do you say congratulations to fake fantasy game card people? Probably not. Um, anyway, yeah, my notes on Jules kind of dried up at that point. I, I got a little bit surprised, um, I won't lie. Uh, <laughs> so th thanks for that one, uh, Jonathan. Uh, the Jules soundtrack sounded really good. We then heard a little bit about Stell's soundtrack. Um... Again, Skies of Wonder, you can hear it on Jonathan's website. I'll put a link to Jonathan's website below, actually, if I remember. Uh, go look, go, go that and listen. Uh, he, he repeated quite regularly something that I felt while listening to it, but I couldn't really put it into words. He wanted to make it feel like you were soaring, like you were actually lifted up and flying as Stell while you listen to the soundtrack. Um, Skies of Wonder, the very beginning of it, has that sort of big lift, for lack of a better word, and it really did feel like I was soaring through that middle section as it dipped back down and then pulled back up again as I was lifted once more. Um, I felt like he absolutely nailed what he was going for in this. And it's definitely the most impactful Bizarre song we've heard so far. Which he wasn't sure if they necessarily wanted to have. 
This goes into a bit of game development theory. Do you want a underplayed sort of backing track, like specifically a background track that is very quiet and very low, like the one in the background is video probably, that won't distract you from the gameplay, but won't necessarily build on it. It will just immerse you in it a little bit. Or do you want a soundtrack like Skies of Wonder that tries to help tell the story, that actually draws your attention while you're playing the game? Personally, if I'm dedicated to a game, and I'm quite a competitive player, I'm not, I'm not like pro rank in anything anymore, but I, I am very competitive in the games I play. I like to learn, I like to do the best I can. So if music is distracting me, I'll mute the music and play my own. But in a game like The Bazaar, where first of all, it's now ghosts. So that PvP element has sort of fallen away a little bit. We have infinite time to think about our decisions because it is asynchronous. Honestly, go for the distracting music. Any bizarre player worth their salt isn't going to be distracted by the music. And if they are, they'll just wait for the low part of that song to make their decision. But it can genuinely actually add something here. It can lift the experience that much more. Uh, so personally, I'm in that camp of, yeah, sure, give us some harder hitting songs. Draw us into this sort of story, this this immersive experience of the bazaar with your music if you can. Uh, but if you have any ideas, again, make sure you join the official Bazaar Discord, head to the music channel for Jonathan and let him know your thoughts on whether or not you want distracting but story driven music or quiet, delicate backgrounds music. So, they've been doing a lot of work on the theme of the bazaar, which also sounds like it will be the background for the trailer, but Jonathan says with these big pieces, these high-impact pieces that we heard a lot, he actually doesn't spend an awful lot of time on the final piece, because he'll work on it for a while, then not be so, so happy, so he'll put it down, work on something else, try and get a better idea of it, pick it back up, try and work with it again, but at that point, realise he doesn't like it, so he'll start again. And this will repeat a number of times, and has done. So while we actually thought the trailer was coming soon, we saw a sort of teaser for it um, at the very edge of a uh, Instagram story that Jonathan posted a while ago. It doesn't actually sound like they're that close to finishing the trailer. So we're a little bit further off in that respect. But in some good news, we were talking about some dynamic sound effects. And he has confirmed there will be some dynamic sound effects. There will indeed be some cards that, as they grow in power, the sound will grow with them. But he also confirmed that we will be getting some, I don't know if this means all combat music, but that some combat music will be dynamic. Whether or not that just means that the combat music will change as we get into the sandstorm, or if it means that combat music will change as your health gets lower, or after a big swing, or something to that effect, we're not sure. But combat dynamic combat music will be coming to the bazaar. The last thing to cover was a question from me about the future. I asked him, following he, he went on a sort of tangent about his love of other genres and other regions. Uh, someone asked about a folk USSR type soundtrack. Anyway, uh, that inspired me to ask him what other genres or regional inspirations will he want to pick upon as he moves into the future and looks at future classes. Now, Jonathan had one idea that was better than the idea that he did give us, but he kept to himself. He said it was too good, he was going to raise it to the Bizarre Team, but maybe it would happen and he would love to be able to do that. But that one was kept a secret. His second best idea, I instantly fell in love with, as did a bunch of the other people in the community. And before he even finished his sentence, I knew what he was talking about. He said, put yourself in a like dive bar tavern in this intergalactic bazaar now imagine the soundtrack for that what does the soundtrack for that intergalactic bazaar sound uh, tavern sound like to you if you said cantina band from star wars you're right he would love to have a like a bartender class which honestly as soon as he said bartender class as well this would be pretty awesome right maybe it leans a little bit too close to back with the alchemy but like a bartender would be pretty cool that'd be cute some sort of bar even just a bar board where he can get him and some of his friends into a recording studio and do a Katina band from Star Wars style thing. Obviously, they'd make it their own. They wouldn't just copy it. But 
that would be a really cool sound to have while playing the bazaar. I'd absolutely love that. And that was only his second best idea. So, at the end of it all, the music for the bazaar already sounds absolutely incredible. But it sounds like we're in for a treat as Jonathan continues to develop the game and we move further forward into the future of the bazaar. If you want to come there with us, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel uh, because we drop pretty much everything related to the bazaar here. Uh, if you're ever in need of anything the bazaar wise, uh, we'll probably cover it. Even more so than the official channel these days, I think. Anyway, uh, I've been Gizra Greg and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao. I'd rather be a dreamer, I'd rather be free, I'd rather be a leader, I'd rather be a queen.